Hello everybody, this is JP3 here and back with a, another PB for my uh, John Wick Deathless Percent run through Halo Combat Evolves uh, levels and um, this is Keys of course, the ninth level and I uh, posted uh, a, I think a 29 minute or some odd performance beforehand. This commentary is not live by the way so I'm uh, able to focus a little bit more so on the commentary. And while I was playing, focus a little bit more on the play. Uh, yeah, this one's uh, quite a bit shorter. I actually had a PB before this. I just never posted it of about 24 minutes and um, 30 seconds. But even that one felt a little slow. So I went back and did this one. And Keys is just a very uh, annoying level to try to run fast. And um, what you're actually seeing is probably the roughest start to this mission that I could have possibly posted, but it was still pretty fast. Um, I usually try to like to get out of there around uh, 35, 40 seconds, and I was right in the middle there, so I didn't reset. The reason why it was sloppy is because I had, I believe I'd just come off a really nasty death or two, and uh, was just kind of a little uh, tilty. But despite all that, this uh, run ended up working out pretty well. And, uh, essentially the goal in this part here is just to, uh, come out kind of guns a blazing. <laughs> if you can tell already. It's at the first of the level, so, you know, don't want to take too much care or concern about your, uh, safety. Um, again, pretty rough there. Could have been a lot smoother, but I usually like to get to that part about 120, and I was, uh, there well before that. The part where you, uh, come into this area. I noticed I uh, missed the stick on the Elite that was standing there, which I hit about 20-30% of the time. Those guys up top, I hit them about 90% of the time. So I'm satisfied with uh, the way it went. And then, you know, throwing a grenade around this corner here after getting their attention. And then um, coming back here, unless I'm 100% sure these guys are dead, the main way to, to know that would be as if uh, you've got blood that are over here that come running at you. And you don't hear any grunts or any kind of movement over here from the Covenant. Not movement, but like the sounds they typically make. Uh, but that's pretty rare to, to have it be that way. And so... Uh, so instead, we uh, go back to make sure they're all cleared. To make sure the wit percent rules are followed. Throw a grenade around that corner, which is not absolutely necessary, but it can help out. And then once you pass a certain point, uh, usually everything despawns, uh, but not always everything. As you notice there, if there's a carrier in the process of exploding, that may not despawn. So here we're just going to try to take out these hunters as soon as possible. And while I was waiting for a backpack reload, I thought I'd take a couple pot shots with the pistol, hoping that I could get something. Uh, wasn't able to get anything with the pistol, but the sniper worked out just fine there. And I'd really like to say that I uh, just uh, tore up ass with the sniper rifle but in this PB, but I don't. Uh, the goal here is to kill the two hunters and then kill at least two elites, if at all possible. And uh, once I do that, then I try to get down there uh, as soon as I can. And notice I got the 135 there, which means that I killed an elite and not uh, just a grunt. Um, so, yeah. We're going to go ahead and go down there. Usually you'd wait a lot longer. Wait till uh, the elites are, are all dead. But in this case, uh, in between the time that we uh, made our way down there, it looks like an elite or two had already died. Uh, which actually worked out pretty well. We didn't have to potentially take any damage or get held up. And so instead of taking the turret here, which is a decent strategy for legendary, we're just going to come right over here. Dodge uh, getting splatted by the turret itself, and uh, this can go a lot smoother. But basically, take those guys out with melee attacks. Throw a distraction grenade there. Hope that guy isn't there. Uh, we get away with it this time. Sometimes that carrier form is not there. Uh, but instead of uh, waiting for it to clear out of the way, I just um, went forward anyway. Which is generally the goal. And I usually like to get around that corner in about... Uh, 4, 4.15, somewhere in that range, and uh, we are well within that time frame. And um, I think there was a reviver left up there. I'm not really sure. Uh, but I saw everybody go down, and uh, by the time I hopped down, the problem is, is they uh, despawn. Uh, something I can't control. And so, uh, you know, the reviver 
I don't think there was any reason to believe that that guy was going to revive. I put a shotgun right in his bloody chest. But anyway. So uh, we came right over and tried to get shots on those guys that are up here just to save a little time. And then that usually draws the attention of the Flood that are going to decimate the, I don't know, the handful of grunts that are there defending this position. And then we go right to killing those guys up there once we clear out that uh, group of Flood with a grenade. Uh, I turn on the new graphics here because it makes it easier to throw the grenade, uh, the grenade I'm about to throw. At least it does for me. I think it's more superstition than anything else. And we get a really nice clear there. That uh, indicates that three of the four elites up there... Boy, that is the story of this run. Throwing a grenade with someone that's not looking and then telepathically dodging it. You'll find that out later. But anyway, so we take out enough of the elites up there so we can move forward with relative confidence... Um, although the Elite can chop into that uh, Overshield pretty fast. Um, I think of the Overshield in this section as one that allows me to be a bit more brave in this area. But as I will mention later on, uh, and I think I mentioned in my original Keys run, the problem with the Overshield is that it protects you nothing extra uh, whenever you're dealing with plasma explosions. And so uh, you have to be very careful um, with how you exhibit courage while having the overshield because it's only really effective whenever you're dealing with uh, bullets and uh, slaps and things like that as as I kind of indicated though before the elite can carve into it pretty fast too especially if there's multiple of them firing at you so don't get too courageous if that makes any sense at all so we cleared out the spawn that comes after you get close to the grab lift along with the spawn that's uh, there attacking the elite and uh, grunt the covenant position beforehand now we're gonna need to come up here and we're gonna need to get rid of this overshield because there's another one that's uh, very close by so we're gonna do that right here and uh, hopefully not take uh, too much shield damage that way we can come over here and uh, take these guys out without having to worry about any of these uh, infection forms that are coming at us now from the door that we just uh, exited from. Uh, they're not going to take down our shield and then start munching on us. So walking through this hallway, since we killed two flood in the hallway, there's not one standing by that pole. And there's going to be some that come down from here. We're going to throw a grenade and not look back. It takes out four, usually four or five spawn from there. Uh, notice that there was uh, an explosion of a carrier form back there before that one exploded, so it kind of took out that spawn. And we're not going to sit around and wait for it to uh, keep repeat spawning so usually that works out to kill every one of them uh, through the grenade basically but I kind of threw it behind them instead of in the middle or in front of them I usually throw it in front of them or it'll bounce off one of them and I'll shoot the shotgun to get them uh, charging forward and they all blow up and it kind of worked out there but anyway and this overshield is used to stop any respawning here basically and to get that grenade down there so we can go ahead and take out those carrier forms we took out two of them there. Uh, there's the third one. Notice how fast we're uh, moving here as opposed to waiting around for the, uh, I think, the three spawns of flood that will come out of that door upstairs where we just left. Again, that was the whole point of the overshield was just to get over there really fast and get there before they could respawn. And then to get that grenade down there and start the uh, process of killing these guys uh, down here, the carriers. Uh, that grenade, for some reason, didn't kill anybody. <laughs> and a second was was thrown there uh, oftentimes the problem with the uh, carrier forms is that they will um, uh, you know release the infection forms which then uh, cause these guys to throw grenades and get all hot and bothered notice how there I accidentally threw a frag grenade I meant to switch to plasmas because I had ran out and so it was uh, on uh, frags instead that killed both the elites which is really nice we're going to shotgun that uh, grunt there, and we're going to throw... Well, I guess I did not. I threw it later. Throw a grenade around there to kill those guys, but the gren grenade despawned there, if you notice that, which is annoying as hell. So we're just going to kill anybody else that comes out. Uh, I'm going to assume that that grenade uh, like killed all those guys. It usually does, but again, I didn't throw it down right away because I wanted to switch to frags because I definitely want to use the plasmas here. The goal is not to stick an elite. The goal is to put it right in the middle of them and hope they all stick around to uh, to blow up from it. We're going to stick a plasma pistol right there. I normally like to put it somewhere else, but we're going to stick it there. It'll be safe there, hopefully. It won't get uh, blown all around. And that was 
exactly the kind of thing that makes this level very, very frustrating and annoying is that at any given point in time, you can have a random chain explosion into run. Notice I'm not picking up plasma pistols here. That wasted a lot of time in my first uh, performance. Uh, they are not needed here. If we need plasma pistols here, we've already failed uh, when it comes to that point in the level. Uh, given the stress that I use at least. So here on low health, I have to be a little less ambitious. <laughs> but I'm not going to be uh, totally hamstrung here. And since these guys are running to a mark, it seems like they like to run to that mark at some point along the way. I uh, took advantage of that. I kind of uh, smoked them out with those grenades. And then, uh, of course, I want to make sure I have full plasmas here because I might want to use them to take out elites that are remaining over on that... Um, that divider area where we stuck the grenade initially when we came out of here right there but I miss it and it falls off there it's not exactly the most crucial grenade so I will admit that it's not one I'm accustomed to throwing uh, I got lucky with that stick um, he sh that shouldn't have happened <laughs> he should have uh, you know dodged out of the way but for whatever reason he did not and um, there can be elites that get blown off I'm dropping a shotgun there uh, for later on. You'll see why. Uh, very important to do that. Uh, and then I want to take a plasma pistol here. And this is a mistake I made here. I should have walked this over to near this door. Because I already put the plasma pistol over there by the door I went into to kill the uh, grunts and the hunter and that whole area. So that was maybe a little bit of wasted time there. But it never hurts to have at least one more on hand. But... Damn, it still is kind of one of those situations where if I need an extra plasma pistol there, I might have already failed if I'm trying to save as much time as possible. So here I stick this uh, plasma pistol there. I come over here because I didn't know what that was, but I realized it was, a, it was a human pistol, a regular pistol. But anyway, so I'm going to pick up a shotgun here. Usually you can find one over here, which is really nice, and that's the way we get our shotgun back because God knows we'll need it. Uh, and it it, you know, gives... Whoa, I forgot about that. That grunt totally um, did not die and surprised me there. And now notice that we get even more shotgun ammo there. Uh, it does provide the possibility for having a shortage of shotgun. That was a really good plasma grenade there. I threw that one deep enough to make that work. Uh, but yeah, at the same time, usually I can collect one over here and uh, be okay. There's not a ton of shotgun and we have left to do. I'm even going to put an insurance plasma pistol here. Uh, I do like to have two here. That's not a waste of time. I'm going to go ahead and grab the health since I'm on three bars. Uh, but I would really prefer not and I would rather have that for later. It's good to try to get their attention and throw that grenade deep as possible in between that uh, overturned box and the door frame there. If you can, then you can usually rack up. I want to go ahead and take care since there's no uh, flood over there. I want to go ahead and take care of this guy. Even if there were Flood over there, I'd still take care of this guy and then take care of the Flood, which are now spawning to my surprise. And this guy's trying to shoot me. I'm not sure where those guys came from. Um, but anyway, ready a frag grenade at this point. And uh, blast that guy, throw that around the corner. Sometimes, and I have no idea why it is, you can get like a triple killionaire there. So it's like you almost kind of collect all these spawns at once. I'm not sure why it didn't happen there, but... Uh, one problem, though, and it rarely ever happens, is that we lost a plasma pistol that's supposed to be there. It went over the edge, and uh, I just noticed that now. If I'd have noticed it then, I wouldn't have uh, tried to look for it. I'm getting the Needler for insurance. It is a, de a decent backup we weapon for what we have next. but So this is going to look more dangerous than it actually is. This is not even that dangerous. What I'm doing there... Usually don't even take a hit there. You, what I'm doing here is I'm coming back here to stop this uh, Covenant spawn. The uh, elite, an elite and two grunts uh, spawn of that squad uh, will come out of here uh, a, a handful of times. Uh, but we want to stop that. Now we want, this is the hard part. We want to get grenades in there because every time you wipe this spawn out, as long as you're outside that door, it just continually respawns. And I mean it respawns fast. So you kind of want to throw a grenade in there and try to cross that threshold at the exact time you've thrown that grenade, or the, the grenade's about to explode. That way, uh, when you're walking through the door, you're going to stop the extra spawns from happening, or a respawn from happening there. It's, it's really tricky, and 
it, that's the more dangerous part than what I did initially. And that saves a lot of time, both of those uh, strats there. The infamous uh, unskippable cutscene here where we uh, punch a hole into Keys' uh, proto blob head and uh, grab the uh, neural lace that has the codes so we can blow up the Ottoman stuff. Spoiler alert. I guess I should have said spoiler alert. Never mind. I'm an idiot. And so this is also going to look really dangerous, but it's not that dangerous once you get used to it. Uh, I really would rather have a shotgun here. But, you know, I don't have a plasma pistol over there, so I just grabbed that one since I saw it. And notice there was a shotgun right at my feet, and I'm like, hell yeah, oh my god. And then, of course, it despawns because God hates me. Uh, so here, we're going to, whoa, we're going to let the Covenant fight it out from this vantage point instead. Instead of being trapped in that room with a ton of flood spawns, we're just going to throw a grenade around that corner and blow up all the flood that we're going to come after us. Uh, as for anything else that respawned in there, well, we already passed through there, and I'm not in the business of taking out infinite flood respawns. I only throw a plasma grenade there in the hopes that I can kill these flood, or at least nudge them out to get them out of my way. I don't need them in my way while I'm taking on these uh, robot elites. So now we're going to try to stick somebody, but unfortunately the elite wasn't over there. We got the three grunts, though, which is nice. Um... This guy gives me a hard time, uh, for whatever reason, <laughs> that went to the door frame. for whatever reason we just cannot get this, uh, stupid overcharge, which is supposed to track, right, to land, and so, uh, you know, we're in trouble here, but this guy, who's, like, right next to me, I can, you know, <laughs> overcharge and stick him fairly easily, but I, st I don't know how the hell that missed, I, I legitimately don't, I mean, I don't know what the hell's going on with this guy but I guess that last one did land and notice here I'm being um, I'm being brave because I don't care like I need to get out of this room um, I'd like to be out of here in about 15 minutes and 30 seconds somewhere in that range god bless <sighs> so we're a little bit behind a, a theoretically strong time that I could have had here but uh, we're still really far ahead of the pace that I was on with my uh, previous P that, PB that I didn't post of uh, 24 minutes and 30 seconds. So if you're uh, good and you don't let those elites see you when they're flying in, that's why I hit behind the post, you can usually get sticks on both those guys. I throw a grenade down there just for fun, but there were some grenades behind me. At least I thought there were, but I didn't. I guess they despawned. Uh, I was able to pick up three others. And I like to try to kill four guys here, but I have a really, really bad plasma pistol, so that's probably not going to happen. So I'm going to try to stick as many as possible. I'd like to think that there's some way in which if you kill enough of the guys here, you can limit this spawn. I think it's usually nine total elites that will spawn there, but... Um, but I, in the past, I've been able to get it to be less, and there seems to be some component of killing them here that may make the difference, but I'm not really sure. So I'm going to see if I can stick that guy. So notice we killed three there. That may have killed another guy, too. I'm not really sure, and I'm not even sure if that chain explosion would count. But So we killed three or four there. So we're going to come back over here. And this is the quickest way I know to do it right now. I've really tried to figure out some better way to do this, and I just can't seem to do it because of various reasons. So I want to take out these grunts because they're going to attract the overcharges. I'm going to be firing at these elites. And headshots are not working for me right now with this uh, group. So, of course, this could be a little bit faster, but, you know, whatever. I've noticed that if you scope in, it seems like you have a less a chance of hitting a headshot than if you don't scope in as long as you have a red reticle. I don't know why I believe that, but it just feels like that's the truth. Of course, I nail a headshot there, so whatever, but anyway. We got massively fortunate. This group went down really fast because they threw a grenade against one of those uh, shields and it blew up and exploded uh, at least one of the uh, robot elites, so... And then that exploded another robot elite, which is really nice. And then we just headshot two guys as they tried to run away. So that actually went fast enough to make up for the lost time that we might have had not getting those headshots uh, a minute ago. And we find a plasma pistol there that I did not place there, so that was kind of good fortune. But not that we really, really need one, but 
you know, never hurts. So we're going to come around this corner, and we're going to try to take out as many of these guys as possible. Right now, I'm again, I'm thinking I've taken out four. So that's five. Let's uh, go ahead and get this guy here. That's six. And again, my th I think it's nine that will spawn total. So let's see if that's the key. That's seven. That's eight. And that's nine and ten. So I either... I probably did not get that guy with the chain explosion because I didn't get a score for it. Um, and like I say, we had the uh, nine guys here. We had the, you know, it was ten if I counted a random or hopeful chain explosion guy killed and uh, nine if you don't count that. Sometimes you can get that stick. He moved uh, because of magic. And so instead I uh, focus on the grunts instead of getting pissed off about that. Make sure we take those guys out that way they don't get in the way of overcharges or, in the case of that guy, blasting us. Now, I forget I placed the plasma pistol where I normally like to place it and go all the way over here, which uh, cost me a few uh, seconds there. But I was going to be going over here anyway to get these kills. I like it killing them from here better because they tend to be uh, over in this area. Now, notice, look at this. If he saw us, he'd be shooting at us. But somehow he knew preternaturally to move away from that grenade that I expertly threw in between the Banshee's uh, canopy and the uh, body of it. So, anyway. Whatever, man. So, everybody's dead down there, except for the spawns that will come in after you're supposed to leave. This is what the shotgun's for, is to take this guy out. I didn't stick him, but it didn't matter because it uh, deshielded that guy who was uh, running to a mark. Scoped in with red reticle. There's nothing but grunt to hit. And I got one headshot out of all those shots. And so I'm running dangerously low on pistol, of course. And I say dangerously because I really don't have any other way to kill these guys that's reliable. But I get lucky there and uh, get a headshot. I call it luck because, I mean, I was aiming just as well before into a pile of them and getting nothing. So I guess it's luck, some sort of mix of luck and skill. This could have went faster, but instead that guy preternaturally dodged a grenade that he couldn't have possibly seen coming because he was turned around, and he did it twice. So we have to charge him, dodge this grenade, and blow his uh, freaking head off with a shotgun. Wasting time. Not too much time, but wasting it nonetheless. And now we only have one guy left. I'd say about 75% of the time, all it takes is one. All it takes is one. Because, you know, this guy isn't activated. He's turned around. There he is right there. And, oh, wow. Boy, he magically knew that grenade was there. Now, if he knew where I was, he'd be shooting at me. But he's not. But, thankfully, we get the fourth one and this run doesn't end. Right then and there. Because I'm not going all the way back up there and killing him and posting this shit. That would cost a minute, minute and a half. I'm not really sure. The reason why you want to kill those grunts before you go and kill that group in the hall is because killing those grunts obviously will alert the elite that's up there. You go and kill those guys in the hall, come back, he's not so alert. Still preternaturally dodging grenades, but he's not that alert. So we get a very nice time, the nicest time I'm ever going to get unless uh, I'm turned crazy again. But 21 minutes, 54 seconds, John Wick Deathless uh, killing everything in our path with the exceptions, uh, like respawning stuff. Just look in the description if you want to know what those are. But anyway, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, not sure if I'm going to try to PB anything else uh, that I've already posted. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. But I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the performance and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.